I'm Daily Fix and welcome to part 9 of our X4 Foundations playthrough. Now, I had the, uh, I had some free time and I decided to do a whole bunch of chores. Uh, I usually mainly call them. Uh, and I'll just quickly go over them, uh, turn on the hot again. Uh, let's take a look. So, I went around, started placing satellites at positions in uh, all of the territories that, uh, well, it seems I missed one, but whatever, uh, that require any of the following goods. Uh, let's get into trade. So, advanced composites, engine parts, hull parts, microchips, refined metal, scanning arrays, silicon wafers, smart chips, and talladium. Mainly because all of these can be created either by refined metals, talladium, or silicon wafers. Then I put those up to my two fleets. They have been doing their best. Uh, going into my financial overview, uh, we have to detract six, well, well six hundred thousand due to collect. Collect is due to data vaults, and that leaves us with actually that's uh, well not as much. One point five million roughly. We'll actually get it a bit up a bit higher. Um, I kind of made a mistake in by the end of the last when I formed those fleets. Uh, some of these ships, and I, I put a, did this uh, little sign in front of it, uh, saying like, this is one of the ships I'm currently training. Let's go to information. Even though the pilot is a two star, the morale is absolutely horrible, and he will need to do assignments in order to get that morale up as you can see like with all of those guys over here like two and a half stars slowly getting there slowly getting to a two star so we will be rotating those pilots into ships that can help the fleet uh, currently the Taladi ship docked over here and the other one is on the other side of the galaxy somewhat doing some other things over there so i also did satellite placements in the Taladi territory as well as the argon federation territory now for this episode i want to go and get del basta we have two of those bombs i believe we need two if we need three then that would really seriously harm my plan of today's episode uh as for the pos it stopped building, however, we'll slowly get these wares in. It's just taking a lot of time, okay? It is. It's not much I can do about it other than, you know, just continuing with what we're doing and slowly building up capital. Now, I kind of don't want to be buying the blueprints anymore because of the POS and we're researching those things, so eventually I want to be using those... EMP bombs and stuff like that. That means that we have 5.1 million that we could put into, say, a ship. However, as for my current relation, it is 11 with Argon Federation. However, I don't like any of those medium ships. It has, it could have a fast base speed, but the traveling speed is a joke. The Talali is plus 18, but I don't need a flying brick. However, the Patriarch currently is at plus 4. Meaning we'll have some way to go getting that to plus 10. And then we can get the military equipment license. The military ship license. And all of those good things. And yeah, that's actually very, very good stuff to have. Because then we could fly, say, a Cobra. One of my favorite ships in the game. I kind of want to hear from you guys. Like, what is your overall... your your What's your small medium large xl ship you always go through with each playthrough like what's the setup why is that your overall i want to compare those in here and, and maybe i've missed something like maybe uh, if you can also tell me about how you usually like fly it do you fly it in a fleet do you have support of small ships medium ships you name it. the whole the entire information blob then i will stop bloody talking let's get to a tikva let's activate the del basta mission and see how far we can get i don't have um laser towers on board so we'll eventually have to get those but you Locking know right. it's fine also uh with every station i'll dock 
I will check the trader corner, uh, mainly because of the Welcome. of the first skill, uh, uh, the, the, the pilot tier one, something like that. And this one has a few, so let me just go around and just do those. So I, I can't really complain about that. When to all of those, we got ourselves free. Uh, one star crew piloting uh, seminars. That's that was actually the word I was looking for, uh, which means that we could actually improve those fleets. Or, or, what I can do is start mapping the Antigon or the the Holy Order of the Pontifex, or perhaps the uh, the Pyranid. Uh, systems and assign a fleet to those as well. Uh, I want to pick up all of the blueprints uh, eventually, and this is an entrepreneur start, meaning yeah, we 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 will play it slow. Okay, if if you want fast paced gameplay, uh, I always liked watching the rugged gamer, and there's also uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Dart Vegan. He is currently playing uh, the game with. Uh, the Star Wars uh, mod, in interlude mod, something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, so if you want to check it out, he's actually playing the Star Wars music. So, hey, content creator don't mind, you know, losing revenue just because of the music, then it, you know, it's good, right? So go check him out as well. Uh, and let's go talk with uh, Rina Mars, see if she has anything for Thanks me for to coming. do. So I, I'm going to say I'm in because, well, actually, let's just go over these things, right? A Tigva have not had it easy in the years gone by. We traded with whoever was willing. They were chaotic times and scale plate gave us an opportunity to grow. The Argon simply offer better trade and security prospects than scale plate ever could. Okay, and who is Del Basta? I've known Dal for several years now. He's a very cunning and skilled analyst. When I was tasked to expand our trade operations, get closer to the Argon, I knew I needed him on board. Unfortunately, the scale plate pact has proven to be rather erratic. I think she's like a computer generated voice. I'm not sure if that is true. Glad to hear it. I let Dal know. Just follow his instruction and you'll be fine. Yeah. Why don't you go chase Dal down? I'm sure he'd want to show off his ship. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. So I was thinking, how about after we get Dal Basta, how about we do the pirating missions? Um. Like the the curbs, right? That's, that's how we call them. The the curb missions or something like that. Uh, I think that's uh, still very interesting. Where the hell is Dell? I think I need to activate like the mission in not in this piece of stability. I don't really care about. No, yeah, going clean. There we go. Uh, set to active. As for the uh, historical, we have 11 of the 29 data vaults unlocked. Whenever I hit all of them, we will probably dedicate uh, a full episode just to locations like this and, and stuff like that. And that one over there, uh, as well as the entire encyclopedia. As for now, let's go meet this Del Pasta fella. Okay, here we go. Ah, Captain. Welcome aboard my ship. She's a beauty, isn't she? Yes, She's he can is. the best surveillance and computing technology around. And you couldn't ask for a better crew. Handpicked them myself. So, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, what exactly do you do? I'm here to give Hatikva options on how to deal with their scale plate problem. I specialize in analyzing and resolving troublesome situations. But to do that, I need reliable information. Okay, and why is it Tikva being the targeted? The Free League has spent a lot of effort getting closer to the Argon Federation, as well as presenting itself as an up-and-coming economic power. It was decided that dealings with Scaleplate were to be scaled down in order to smooth any relations with local law enforcement. Scaleplate has taken this as an affront to their operations in the area. Now they want to play dirty. But they always wanted to play dirty. Uh, where can I help? Eager to get started. How about we give you a nice, simple task to begin with? We need more information regarding scale plate supply lines and distribution methods. Anything to help us in predicting their movements and behavior. It's also something the local law enforcement would be interested in knowing. You'll be acquiring that data from one of their stations. For that, you'll need a computer worm to confuse their security protocols. Lucky for you, we can have one prepared in no time. Hmm, you'll need a nimble ship. Perhaps a scout. Just in case you need to get out of there quick. We'll send you the worm program when it's ready. 
Oké, okay, nou, we have uh, the ASP. Um, in terms of speed, the ASP is fine. In terms of shielding, eh, not so much. Uh, as for now, let's get to our ship. Let's get this guy out of also. We've uploaded the worm to your ship database. Don't worry, it won't do anything to your systems. But that, that, better. Because I kind of don't want to be a maroon, but this guy. Look at this guy. He's going into, by the looks of it, a two star. That would be perfect. That means I have close to four of them. We can definitely increase uh, this entire setup. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. I'm not going to be doing that right now. Like I'm going to be focusing on the Dalbist, uh, Dalbasta stuff. This method of delivery is through an external vulnerability. You can usually find some on poorly maintained stations. We leave it up to you which station to target. Just let the program do its thing. So they actually give you two options here, Silent Witness 12 and 11. There's also two data vaults in here, uh, out of the top of my head. So I kind of do want to go over here, do a tiny bit of reconnaissance and all of that. Also, the Xenon have started to push a bit. Uh, let us go to this skill plate. Uh, factory, see if we can do anything with that, okay? Let's head over to that highway. Uh, I'll, I'll keep cutting out traveling until you guys say, well, it's completely breaking the immersion and I also want to experience the game, stuff like that, okay? Okay, yeah, definitely they started to push quite. A bit, as you can see here, there's, there's an absolute assault going on. I love that. I really do. Can't wait to actually intervene. If we get that police licensing, as well as a better ship, then this would be a absolute amazing hunting ground to deal a lot of damage to the Xenon, building up that relation, getting a few quick funds because of that police licensing. So, yeah, definitely something you might want to... Take and I think if we ever go to uh, it's the Argent Prime system, we will definitely go ahead and take that. Okay, Silent Witness 11. Let's go. Entering Silent Witness. Okay, the gate 11. is over there by the, by the looks of it. And there's a station up there. Let's do a quick long range scan. Take a quick look on where everything is. Opening up the map. Got a station over there. Station over here. And there should be a gate over here. Uh, I'll... Uh... Yeah, let's just go over here like I said originally. I was thinking about... Actually more like contemplating whether or not I should quickly scout out this system. But yeah, let's, let's just not... Let's just focus on the task at hand, get to that station, see if there is a data leak, and let's get started. And this is a gorgeous system, damn, look at that. Uh, let me quickly zoom out. Wow, I love that purple. I really like that purple. Okay, so oh, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Something near for those who don't know how that works. To look for any data leaks. If you have any space suit EMP mines, you can use them to expose further leaks. Yeah, great. Uh, we're not going to use EMP mines. Quite frankly, I don't have any. Um... Uh, because I don't need to have these secure containers. I have the triggering mechanism and all of that. So you just fly around. Until you see. And it seems like we are actually very unlucky with this station. And it doesn't have any leaking signals. Actually it does. See over here. These, uh, this indicates that there actually is a data leak. Now we go to that scanning mode. This one and let's go look for that data leak. And there it is at the bottom of that station. Let's go. 
I am actually not going to do anything. We, however, will be setting a waypoint to get the heck out of here. This is Dal. We're getting data from the worm probe. Let's go. Good work. Now get out of there safely. Uh, let's pause for a second. Um, we're going to the Anti-Gun Federation base. Engaged. And there is three hostiles coming in. By the looks of it. We should be fine though. As long as the autopilot... Wow, that's loud. Yeah, I'm not going to be bothered with that. Let's make sure... Autopilot. Disengage. To disengage the autopilot in an asteroid field. Otherwise, we might just end up being extremely dead. Once we clear the asteroid field, just hit the autopilot again. The AI is... This is Reen. We've had another freighter targeted by scale plate. No casualties this time, but they're limping home. I hope you've found something we can use to make them think twice. It just so happens we're prepared to do some harassment of our own. I'm sick of us being toyed with. I leave it up to you, doll. Just don't go overboard. It seems that we have a new mission. I already have something in mind. Okay. Entering Silent Witness 1. There we go. We actually have two spaces. Yeah, that's illegal wares in this. Uh, let's make sure to activate that new mission. Autopilot disengaged. We actually need to be over there, but I'm still thinking we might just be attacked by the skill plate. It is possible that those ships like don't vanish. And there were three of them. I kind of don't want to risk it. So let me do a quick save over here. And uh, we'll just go back in. And we'll uh, do the rest of this mission. Take a loss. Autopilot. Disengage Falcon. Okay, here we go. Vanguard. Is that the best? Okay. Yeah, see? That's why I kind of wanted to wait for a bit. Especially in an ASP. Hopefully, we can actually make it to the station. That would be that would be quite ideal. I don't have shields. We'll repair the ship in a second. Seems like we can do it. And they, they are being assaulted right away because we have a good standing with the Argon Federation. Docking granted. There we go. And the Argon Federation does actually shoot at uh, hostilities towards me. Let's take a quick look. It should actually be in here. Um, no, actually, we. it should actually be in this part. Well, anyways, uh, we should... I say should. Let's press R. Uh, be safe. Yeah, we're going to be very, very safe. Let us uh, quickly undock... Requesting immediate backup. And I do need to repair my ship. Now, Civilian defense drone. how many of them are there actually? Buzzard, bang, buzzard, vanguard. Buzzard, Doesn't look vanguard. too good for him though. Yeah, they're definitely preoccupied right now. Not that I mind. What will you do, guys? Would it safe? Would it be safe for me to get out of my ship and start repairing? I think it's safe for me to get out. We're going to be close to the station to do so because I kind of want to use their defenses. Let's get out and let's go repair. Ask. Docking granted. Okay. That took actually quite a bit. Um, but they turned uh, non-hostile. That's another thing that I kind of did is I ordered three of these uh, Vanguards. Uh, we're not going to be only ordering them to go to this equipment dock. Actually, let's just go to over here. Upgrade and repair. 
You can do them in bulk, um, but there was something why I could not really do that. I'm not going to give them personnel. I actually got three of these with complete personnel in there. We're going to be distributing those guys. So that's one. Two. And number three. Those three can actually start upgrading. Once they're done, we'll start distributing them and we'll actually grow up these fleets. Uh, just a bit more. For now, it is time that we um, just get the heck out of here. Just do the mission. You're joking. What the hell was that? Accelerator. Silent witness. Eleven. Something in just exploded in front of my face. Arkan Station security vessel. Why you? Why are they always hostile to me? Like I didn't do anything, mate. I didn't target your station, didn't shoot your station, just leave me alone. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Entering silent witness 11. Okay, um, I think the data vault should be around this bit. Oh, give me a second. Okay, so after that got there, there was a very evil looking lorry parking. Outside of my house and my dogs were like, who is that? Uh, let's get over there. Uh, I will actually do a quick scan. Uh, but I have decided I will just do the data vaults off camera. So I won't have to bore you with all of those thingies. Uh, this is one of those escape missions again. And we will. We just... Yeah, we will do that. Del, shut up, please. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Love you. Um, but shut up. Seriously. We'll just go set, uh, and make sure we target the gate out there. Let's get up. And let's go. Hello. Play. Can I help? Yeah, you can just. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Asp. Not how I envisioned it with an asp. Okay, bomb launcher. Space weed farm. Now, it should actually just go to where you are targeting. And I think we need to deploy two. Did I just lose one now? It's very possible. Yeah, I see. It should be over there. You better get out of there. Yeah, you I'll just... Uh, we'll lose one. We're, just actually, we're actually just going to go... No reason for you to remain over here because we already saw a hostile fighter coming our way and quickly going to travel. Come on. It might be just two of them as long as we can stay in traveling. Then that's fine. I don't know how the um, the AI's targeting is. But if we drop out of uh, traveling, then we, yeah, we might be kind of screwed over here, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, I'm not feeling so secure anymore in an ASP. Um, it's because of the money, I guess. I know that we can get a better ship. But what ship do we get? Sit back and watch. There we go. Sending remote detonation signal. Yeah, exciting times. Okay. Get on the line. We need backup now. Yeah, very exciting. I know. 
one of the things that we can do is grab a few laser towers from over the Argon now Wolf. The fun's over, let's get back to the task at hand. Or we, we just do the missions completely. The plate higher ups. These are the people we're going to have to negotiate with. Now that we've shown our teeth, maybe they're more willing to listen. We're about to chase down a lead. You and the other ships will have to be on standby for any opportunity which arises. Oh, yeah. We're assigning you a sector to patrol. If something comes up, we'll let you know. Autopilot engaged. Please don't fly into that. I right, appreciate that. Uh, while we wait, how far are these ships? Okay, they're about to start docking. Uh, we will actually take a quick look. Uh, morale quite low. Piloting is horrible. Morale is semi-decent. Piloting not. Uh, yeah, we definitely will change the captains. We got three books for other pilots with a higher morale. So when they are ready, we just uh, will assign them to their new fleets. So they can start making a profit. And well, when I am done exploring the other systems over here, mainly, um, I'll have to make a fleet for those as well. So we can start building up that relationship. Come on, next one. Time left. There we go. Luckily, it's just a few seconds. It's not like... Defend this place in space for the 20 minutes. Hate those missions. Yeah, we spent about a million on this. So yeah, it makes sense that it kind of dipped. It will be, it will be better eventually. Empty space. Right now, the most important thing for me is building relationship. Eventually, I kind of want to test out the fuel shortages with my empire. See if we can just get rid of some of the distribution stuff. Autopilot. That it's for me okay. is quite interesting to check out. And if something is for me interesting, then yeah, you can bet that I will show you as well. Okay, these, uh, these are done. So we just quickly do it? Might as well, right? This guy is the high guy. Uh, eventually, I want a large ship for him. Then we'll use him. As for you, uh, morale is horrible. Service crew member, two morale. Uh, piloting, one. Captain, our lead got away. Can I help? Make you a better Sir. pilot. And now you have... You're over here. There we go. I was like, where is he? But he's right over there. Now we can actually use you to work somewhere else for me. This is the solid harvester. Uh, That's good because we have three of those. Work somewhere else. You will be working over here as a captain. We will go to this ship. Uh, we've got a few more. You will go over here. Transfer crew. Get one more. Because that should actually... No, actually just get two. Confirm that. And when that captain arrives, I want you to go here. Rename you. Otherwise, I will eventually lose track rename that and now mimic commander alpha that should actually turn into a fleet when he's done uh, there is now a solid fella without a it's a harvester actually that is without a captain it's most likely this one uh the captain is still not gone so whenever that is, and it will take a few seconds, we'll just assign a new one over there. Uh, and for now, let's just continue with the mission.
Yeah, where are we uh, being sent to? Oh, yeah, we we'll have to wait over there. That for oh, yeah, that's such a fun mission, that one. Oh, well, it could be worse, right? Yeah, he is going to be exiting the gate. Autopilot. Let's go Engage. towards him. I think we need to be... Yeah, I think like 10 kilometers max. Autopilot disengaged. So I'll, um, how about this? Let's meet when he starts talking to the police officer. Ah, right, here we go, finally. Yeah, much appreciated, officer. Let's go. Best if you don't ask how. Well, at least. You may need to pick up the pace. <laughs> Shut up, doll. I was asked to drop my call. Uh, okay. So, Paramount Pillager, uh, Tladi FS Vulture. Okay, let's take a quick look. Right in here. The guy who was asked. Who was asked? Let's take a quick look. Well, not him. He doesn't have anything. So it needs to be this fella done. And I think he was asked in this uh, particular system. Because this... It doesn't seem like there is a ship that is going to be capable of doing anything right now. So we we'll definitely are going to say, just don't, just go, I guess. Uh, override that immediately so we can pick up the pace. I will take a quick look on seeing what happens and maybe one will actually pop up over here. Uh, it seems like he'll be safe. Quickly set ourselves to a course over there. Come on, man, go into traveling. That's why I want to use large ships, but large ships might not be the best Heads idea. Up. That's close enough. So, are you police? Or perhaps Hatikva scum? Oh, they're calling us Hatikva scum now. Ooh. That's good info. Keep them talking. Um, uh, sorry, who are you? Do not insult my intelligence. I know you have been following me. I am a proud member of the Scale Plate Pact. Do not interfere. Always nice to see someone take pride in their work. So true. So true. Uh, Scale Plates are a joke. If you wish to provoke me into a fight, you are a fool. I will take my leave. All right. And go over what we know so far. Okay, uh, let's go autopilot. Quickly take a look at the ship. Seems like it was actually this guy. He did get out of the accelerator, but he chose not to follow my guy over there. Uh, how about you? Uh, we need another Entering system. pilot to get over here we'll assign him to probably the argon federation one because no I, I need him over here 
Although, this guy is still waiting there. So, how about we send you to just fly away over there? Autopilot. Disengage. Because he's not doing anything right now. We need to remember that. I will definitely assign him to the Argon Federation then. Let's quickly go over personnel by skill. As a captain. Uh, morale too low. Morale too low. Morale too low. Morale is perfect. You are the solid distribution. Man, you are a three and a half star. There's no way I will let you pilot anything for now. I want at least... There we go. So we can give him two. So Mike... Of, what is it? Mikal? Mikal? Yeah, here you go. Uh, let's go with comms. Help? Give you a seminar. Piloting. One stop piloting. Sir. Yes, sir. Indeed. Now you should be at the top of the list. And he is uh, one of the best. We currently have two and a half stars. Uh, you will be working somewhere else for me on this vulture as a captain. Uh, going back to my list. Uh, we started doing the Argon Federation one. One of them is without... No, these ones are fine. Three, three, two. There we go. This one. Uh, the solid distribution one, you will be getting a new transfer. Confirm that. And you will also transfer crew members. To the whopping amount of free. Although it seems. Did I already do this one? Seems like I did. Interesting. Uh, we'll send you over here then. And then. Transfer crew. I know. You don't have to do it like this. Very much aware of that. You'll be mimicking Commander Alpha until we form a new fleet. So at least you have something to do. We will we'll actually get another one in here eventually, but not right now. I want to save up until we reach like 5 million again. Let's quickly go towards the trading station. Ah man, these missions always take a bit longer than expected, right? Let's go over here. Quickly go to Reen. Successfully docked. Uh, it's not on dock because that would be counterproductive. Welcome. Uh, I'll meet you guys with Rin. Good to have you back in one piece. This certainly has been a busy day. For those of you who forgot that I was starting as the Talali. So what have we learned? Our new friend here is worth every credit you're paying him. You're not paying me Our too much. Is involved in making drops of illicit goods. Our quarry is also known to the police, who may be a valuable source of information. Hmm, that's at least something to go on. I'm rather content with the data we managed to gather. <sighs> what do you suggest we do now? The time has come to approach scale plate. We'll have a few words, learn what they desire, and then leave. And then what? It'll be up to you to achieve your goal. I can only suggest how to do it. I have a feeling this is going to cost me. Everything will work out fine if you follow my instructions. Let's go see the bad guys. We just bombed the station and he said, let's go see the bad guys. Uh, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. I'm expecting someone to arrive at my house and there were a few extra, uh, you know, some things going on here and there. So yeah, cut left, right and center, I know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that uh, YouTube stuff. And I'll see you next time while we complete Get Dal and see how we will explore other systems. Have a good one. Bye-bye.